All right, folks, welcome back to the shop. It's kind of a mess right now, but two different projects going on. <clears throat> Posted this to Facebook, but uh, this was a failed project. Maybe I'll post some other pictures, but I did it with just clear resin. Did not work out very well. Couldn't see it, so I went back to the white. And while I had some extra resin, I went ahead and poured this, and that piece of wood is amazing. Shout out to Cajun Connection Woodworks for supplying this beautiful walnut. But uh, I'm going to show some video of uh, just some training video that I've been doing. Just learning how to fly more precise. And shout out goes to Phantom FPV. He posts quite a few videos on uh, just tutorials how to do different tricks and uh, get your muscle memory built. But I'll be posting some video here and we'll have a look at that here in just a second. Here we go. One other thing, all my equipment is breaking down right now. My 3D printer, which I really need for FPV, I need it to print TPU, which is like flexible spaghetti. It's really hard to feed that flexible filament up and get it to work properly, but I've got a clog somewhere it's between here and there. I cannot figure it out. Where we go on that. So the other day I was watching one of Bardwell's videos and he talked about putting a GPS chip on his drone and uh, step by step I just followed it and then went into beta flight and configured it and just the other day they came out with a firmware that actually lets the OSD uh, display the information and again I i just been learning, watching videos, and I, I found this guy, Phantom FPV, which has some good videos. He, he definitely needs more subscribers for sure. He's got good content. But he'll sit there and explain how a trick is done and uh, kind of encourage you how to do it. So go check him out. I'll put a link to it in the video down below. So here we go. Uh, back to the GPS thing. And just my short run over the field, I got up to 90 miles an hour. And that was, uh, I was not quite full throttle, but I found myself watching the speedometer instead of the trees, so it could be distracting. You, you really have to hang on to these things when you're flying them, especially low. You get way up there, you don't have anything to worry about, but it's more intense when you're flying low to the ground, you got more to risk. But this is uh, the HD1 uh, from Rotor Riot. The only thing I don't like is you can see the props in the video, just the, the edge of them, but I'm leaning more to the cinematic deal, so from now on any frames I do will be uh, the kind that keeps the propellers completely out of the, the view. Alright, here we go. Don't forget to check out Phantom FPV.
you doing, see? Want this bottle? Hmm? What you gonna do with that now? Hmm? You gonna go to your couch? Come here. Get comfortable. Lay down. Got it made. Get your water bottle. In good shape now. You working on it? enough. You don't have enough plastic for one day. Unless you talk to me. You want it? Yeah? Is that a yes? The bottle. This bottle. Alright. Alright. Don't eat it though. I don't know. I don't think you should have that. I don't think you should have that bottle. Swallow it though, aren't you? Yeah? You're just gonna chew it? You're just gonna chew it a little bit? Huh? out of that now. Huh? How? You don't care? About the water bottle? You don't care. I should just give it to you, huh? You want it? What you gonna do with it now? Don't chew it. Don't chew it. Uh -uh. Don't. Whatever you do, don't chew on that bottle. Don't chew it. than a chew toy. Huh. Alright, here we go, Zeke. Here we go. 